Hey music friends, this is Davi Vask. I'm a music composer for games and it's been a while since we've listened to some music from Celeste. So today we're gonna listen to and talk about Resurrections. Let's go! Nice arpeggio. I've actually played this game, but I don't remember which track th this is. Oh, the piano. I remember... I remember some things from... From playing the game about the music. One of them is the piano and... and amazing. So, so lonely. Listen to how... How lonely and, and, and fading and, and, and suffering the, the, the piano feels. It's such a... Such a faint, quiet sound from the piano, almost like it's struggling to even sound at all. So yeah, I remember... Some things about the music in this game, from playing this game. One of them is the significance, which I think is pretty clear because I think the composer made that very obvious, at least to me, the significance of the piano versus the electronic synth sounds. So uh, a lot of times in, in these songs from Celeste, when, whenever there is uh, something happening to the main character or something related to the main character, the composer used the piano. The piano a lot of times sounds kind of naive, lonely, sad, benevolent. And on the other hand, the electronic sounds, the synths sound kind of evil and creepy. They Sometimes they almost sound like they, they're popping up from time to time to stalk the the piano and that's fantastic symbolism so it's like the piano represents the main character and the electronic sounds represent the struggles that the main character is going through like the the anxiety the 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 issues that keep popping up and stalking her from time to time that is fantastic and, and the composer makes that so clear so obvious And right now the, the, the synth, the electronic sounds are pretty tame. I wonder if they're gonna get a little more evil later, because I remember that happening. Yeah, and there's a lot of tension in... Oh! Drums. Okay, the piano gets a little stronger, but... I was about to say, the harmony here is just the endlessly looping harmony, and it's this, let me see. Oh, wait, the harmony will have to wait, hold up. The, the evil synth sounds are back, and, and they're, they're back stronger, they're, they're... It's like I was telling you. It's like they're coming to, to stalk, to, to disturb the, the piano, the benevolent piano. It, it's such a disturbing kind of sound, isn't it? I, I feel like... That's probably one of the reasons, man, why Celeste music became so popular. Because this sounds like the soundtrack to some of our own struggles, right? The music and the game itself was made, I, I feel like, with such a, a, a relatable subject to, to it that when we listen to this, we, we can all relate, like we can all see ourselves 
being this piano, like feeling like this piano with this sense of desperation and sadness while being uh, tormented by some, some kind of issue, some kind of thing, like this electronic sound that keeps popping up to, to like suffocate us. That's, that's very, it's something that everyone can relate to. But anyway, check out this harmony. There's a lot of tension in it. It's not just the instruments. Chord. A lot of tension in this, a lot of drama. It feels like the piano is going through something. I remember this melody. This is one of the main melodies. If I remember correctly, isn't this the main melody for for the main character? I think this is the main melody for the for the main character. I remember listening to this even on the I think of the the I think the first level of the game has this melody. Something like that, right? They change the harmony. The harmony is different. And the disturbing synth is, is there, is, is... Is there, right? It, it's like... Seems like it's, it's observing, it's stalking. Again, the, the tense chord... And another thing about this, yeah, the 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 music keeps keeps progressing. Uh, this is a long track. This is almost ten minutes track. Another interesting thing that Celeste music does is it, the music is very interactive. So this is likely a, a, a an edited version of several variations of a track, or actually several variations of a few different tracks probably that play while you're progressing through the game uh, the 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 music moves and changes seamlessly as you're playing the game that's very cool so when you listen to this you get a sense of progression almost like a sense of storytelling while you're listening to this Let me show you something, guys. The harmony here, uh, it, it, it's very symbolic as well. I, I love the way the composer uses music symbolism at every turn. The harmony is going down in a chromatic descent here. Right? And doesn't that give you a sense of fall? Right? This is what the, the fundamental note, the, the, the main note of the chords that she's doing, is doing here. And this sensation of fall, of course, has everything to do with Celeste. I actually don't remember exactly where this song plays, but I wonder if it's during or around that time where you fall from the mountain, uh, maybe after you fall from the mountain, where that sensation of fall and that fear of failure, that 
fear of the fall is still fresh in the main character's mind. I wonder if that's what it is because they really have that descending pattern here to emphasize that sense of desperation, that sense of hopelessness and of, of fall. And the synths are back. Oh, you know what I just remembered? I just remembered something. I think when the the big synths, the evil creepy synths come back, I think it's when your, your evil kind of doppelganger comes back to chase you, isn't that? Right. I think that's what it is. It's been a while since I've played this game. Descent. Very cool. And these quick uh, ostinatos that the composer does with the piano are so cool, man. They, they really get you in a, in a feeling of flow with the platforming of the game. The synth is creeping back in. There are two melodies. There are two melodies playing at the same time here. I wonder if that means something. One of the melodies is what I think to be the this one. What I think is the main character's melody. The other one I don't recognize, but I bet it has some significance. Pay attention how... Two melodies at the same time. Interacting. Oh man, the, the synth is getting really scary. It almost... When the synth gets so loud like this, it almost swallows completely the piano. The piano is overwhelmed. And that, of course, is also symbolism. We're still descending. Man, this is so cool. I wonder if, if we will get an, uh, yet another level to this. Another level of intensity. Again, listen to this. Two melodies interacting. Oh! And it ends with with the creepy synth that's so disturbing. This track was suggested on Patreon. If you have a cool track like this from a game that you love that you want to share with everyone, get on Patreon, share that track with me over there so that I can share it with the world. And remember, whenever you're ready to spread your wings and go on a music journey again, I'll see you there.